So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the foot birthday Sead Kalasinak card. Now, throughout FIFA I've been hoping that at some point Kalasinak would get a position change card at some point, so I was pretty pleased to see him feature in the foot birthday position change squad. Anyway, before we get into things, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment below if you've tried this card and let me know how it performed for you and also in the comments let me know which other foot birthday cards you want me to pick up and do a video on. Right then, let's move on and take a look at the in-game attributes for this 84 rated Sead Kalasinac card. So we'll start in the pace column where we can see he does have a massive 86 sprint speed but he doesn't feel as quick as that because his acceleration isn't anywhere near as good so it does take him a bit of time to actually get to that max speed. In the shooting column there actually is a standout attribute with that 92 shot power. Now you're not going to be taking off shots regularly with this card but if the ball does fall to him and he's near the edge of the box it might be worth trying out a long shot just to see if you can either get a goal or test a goalkeeper. In the passing column we've got 87 crossing which is you know, pretty mad. You probably won't be crossing with this guy too much unless maybe you're on all out attack and this guy's pushing up quite a bit. But other than that, you won't be using that crossing um, that much. 80 short passing, though, is a nice stat to have because it's good to have players all over the pitch who can distribute the ball pretty well. Anyway, let's move on to the two end columns, the two main ones, the defending and the physical stats. We've got 87 stand tackle and 88 slide tackle. That is very pleasing to see. And then in the physical column, 93 strength, 93 aggression and 86 stamina. There are some very good stats on this card. Okay, so the in-game clips are going to roll in the background. Let's chat about Kalasinak's performance for me. Well, we will start with his positioning, which I thought was good. He's not an overly aggressive centre-back who shoots out of position. He sits back a lot, and that will be partly due to his medium-high wear crits. His pace for a centre-back, as expected, is brilliant, and you'll see him chase down plenty of fast attackers in the clips in the background. On the ball, when it comes to passing for a defensive player, I was pretty impressed when using that left foot. Um, when dribbling with this guy though, run in a straight line or don't run at all because his 55 agility means that he turns like a truck. Defensively though, the guy is solid. He's got the pace to catch most players, he's got the strength to knock them off the ball and he's got the stand tackling ability to steal possession and on top of that, he's got the slide tackling ability to deny an opposition runner. But I do have to say when talking about defensive abilities, I was a bit disappointed with his interceptions. In FIFA 18, one of the main ways the ball is turned over is by a player intercepting the opposition's pass. And Kalasinac, he didn't really push up and go for interceptions often. And when he did, he didn't really do it to great success, which like I said, was a bit disappointed. When it comes to things like aerial battles, he was alright, but not brilliant. He stands at 6 foot, and he's got 77 jumping, so, you know, he is capable of winning his fair share of aerial battles, but he's not going to dominate like other centre-back options. Physically, the guy's an absolute beast, he's incredibly strong, and to be honest, he very rarely, very rarely lost a battle with an attacker for me. Anyway, let's head into the summary for this card. It's a good one, and I'll certainly be using this Kalasinac card again. He's incredibly fast for a centre-back, very strong and solid defensively. But I do wish he was better when it came to intercepting and also when it comes to aerial battles. If you're going to use this guy in weekend league, he's definitely going to hold his own for most part. But if your opponent is, you know, crossing the ball regularly to tall, strong attackers like a Ronaldo, Kalasinac isn't going to be much use. Nevertheless, it's a solid card and yeah, I do think this is another foot birthday card that is worth picking up and trying. I'm hoping his price continues to drop and he eventually ends up around or under 50k. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the brand new foot birthday centre back Sead Kalasinac card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below if you've tried this card and how he was for you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.